Uh, oh, please check for me. I don't know. I could sing, but I can't. But I'm here to plug you. I'm here to give you the honest truth. That's what I do. So I would give their quality five, a hundred out of ten. They are hair quality is a hundred out of ten. They are service <gasps> to rated. I would say hair quality. At the start, you're gonna be like mm, eight out of ten. Wear it uh, after five times of wearing it. It's a one out of ten. Na hana uba tung o ausia tu tu wigi eja si na kamahau. Eja so ya upok ay gawu yente ya kibalg. Hey slayers, I hope you guys are fabulous. My name is Dumi and this is Young Book and Fabulous. If it's your first time here, you are not a slayer to become a slayer. All you need to do is click subscribe, hit the notification bell and the all option so you don't miss a notification every time I post a new video. And if you're a returning slayer, welcome back, babe. Appreciate you. get a lot of people asking me where I get my wigs and I can never actually answer fully because I can tell you that I got a wig from somewhere but I really want to go into detail in terms of yo I got this wig here and then when I got it here this is this was the service this is um, how long I've had the wig and this is how I keep it to stay looking like this it it's not just like you know and luckily for me, actually, all my, I think I'm going to be reviewing nine wigs. All my nine wigs are from different vendors. So from rating, from experience, um, quality of the hair, how long I've been able to keep it. Um, I can recommend if you should use them or not, or you can use your own discretion to see like if you want to try the people or not. Okay, let's get into the video. Let's start with this one. I'm going to be starting with my oldest to newest wig. Um, so that's the order I'm going on. And this is my oldest wig. This was the first ever wig I bought myself. It was also from um, Version exclusive version hair. I bought it in November 2019 um, it was on Black Friday special I think the wig was 2400 for 24 inch obviously now I've cut it down to like 18 yeah I've cut it down to 18 but when I got it this is how it looked um, and when I cut it the first time this is how it looks this wig was a middle part 4x4 four four wig um, I just recently cut it into a fringe because the lace was balding so that's why I cut it into a fringe but yeah they delivered really quickly they delivered to my door um, I did pay for delivery I think yeah because I tried going to the physical store because it was Black Friday all the physical stores were full but they were able to fulfill my order fast online and the quality of the hair has been was amazing then and has been amazing till now the only thing was i actually didn't order like this color um i i had ordered like just a plain brow a plain natural color wig like wig but I got this delivered so they got the order wrong but I liked the color so I was just like no harm no foul and then I also ordered the wig that was I think it was 550 not 350 and this is how it looks now I tried I, I tried bleaching it to make it blonde myself the issue with this ne, in the picture this is how the wig looks right online this is how the wig looks you think it's equal like um like this and then they cut it into a bob nope look at it they used i think four inch or six inch um weave to make to make this wig so it it doesn't look like one uniform thing it doesn't look very nice this is how it looked when you are still black and I dyed it blonde and um, don't 
do these things at home but the quality of the hair I can say is very good even after processing this hair twice the quality has remained really good it's remained soft um, I don't wear this wig a lot anymore because obviously it's not uniform it's like it has layers which is not what I ordered so I was not happy with that but the quality of the hair from the 2019 bundles was amazing our hair quality I'd really give it 10 out of 10 you can see guys this has been from 2019 and there was a there was a proper one year and a half this was the only wig I had so you can imagine how much I wore it um, and then their service for them getting the wrong the order wrong and for false advertising I'm gonna give them 5 out of 10 and then for delivery they delivered really quickly I think it was within two days but it's in South Africa it's a South African brand and they have South African branches so I think it was really they use Aramex so it was really fast when I got the delivery so that was nice um, and then getting to how the wig still looks like this even after so many years so i've started taking my wigs to survey they have a specific way of blow drying hair that makes it you know this like fluffy um and um you know it looks brand new it looks like brand new hair it's not clamped up it's not oily um it's in the method that they use and then i use a serum um to just put on the hair and i don't put serum every day i just put it when the hair is looking a bit dull that's when i put serum <laughs> okay this was the second ever wig that i got um uh, from this was from ali ali annabelle um and it was a curly wig it was curly and then I decided to relax it. When it was Kelly, it looked like this. It was a gift um, that in 2020 that I got from my sister and my dad. I think the wig was around 1,000 to 1,200. Um, Ali Annabelle is an AliExpress um, vendor, so you buy from AliExpress. And the wig was so beautiful when I received it. The curls were curling, um, but then eventually they started dropping when it started dropping this is how the curls looked um i'd say the delivery was reliable because it took three weeks they said two to three weeks um but i didn't make the order my sister had made the order and they didn't get any hassles with the delivery and the payment um and this is getting shipped from china but the hair was beautiful the first times i wore it then started doing this you see where it 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 got a skirt ball, man. It's not this tangling way your wig tangles, but if you comb it out, it's still the beautiful strands. No, it starts looking like a skirt pot. What's a skirt pot <laughs> in English? <laughs> yeah, so. Ali Annabelle hair starts looking like a skateboard and I wanted to do this video because every time influencers review wigs they review them from the pack brand new but not a lot of them review the wigs after having worn them a couple of times where guys when I tell you it becomes a skateboard it really does become a skateboard like you could wash your pots with this thing uh, so I was like, you know what? Let me relax it. Let me relax the hair and I was able to relax it and make it straight and this is how it looked after I relaxed it. Very beautiful, very everything, but the hair still still potted up and I didn't even want to wash it or anything for the video because it's go I'm gonna wash it, spend all that time making it straight only for me to wear it by the time the day ends it's it's about date back there so yeah <laughs> to rate it i would say hair quality at the start you're gonna be like mm, eight out of ten wear it uh, after five times of wearing it it's a uh, one out of ten one out of ten like and it's it will start with the first two you cut them off 
it looks like you can scrub your pots with it so save yourself some coins or i don't know but i wouldn't recommend ali annabelle so their hair quality in general one out of ten because you're not gonna spend 1100 on a wig that you wear once or twice then after that it embarrasses you yeah ten and then their service i'd give it an 10 out of 10 didn't have any uh, problems with the service and I didn't complain so that was that and that delivery like I said because it's from AliExpress it took three weeks there were no customs that needed to be paid with the hair then the next wig that I got oh god this I'll put on for you guys um it's this honey hair this i you see i straightened and treated myself because it's such a nice behaving girly i love it so much so this is from an instagram um store it's called lavish hair so the place is called lavish hair and the wig i got in a i think it's 12 or 14 inch or 16 I don't actually now remember <laughs> but I it was it was it looked like this when it arrived um, um, and it looked beautiful this is how it looked it was 550 for the wig the thickness was the the quality yes and the quality after having it since 2020 2022 to 2023 and i wore this as part of my everyday wigs guys this wig does not tangle this wig when you wash it and you straighten it it looks new the hair quality is so unmatched for a wig that i got for 550 and, um and then recently i turned it into um, a fringe because yeah i don't remember why but i turned it into a fringe oh yeah i turned it into a fringe for a video um when i was um remaking the sia bunny look so i turned it into a fringe and this wig has been my everyday wig because how it still looks after all those years of having it um I wash it normally, dry it. I've taken it to Sobe um, before, but I was like for the video because I want to showcase how nice this wig is still after years and after putting it on every day, every day. I when I tell you I this is my everyday wig. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, um, this is how it looks dark. I was giving Rihanna hair baby baby so I would give that quality fifth a hundred out of ten they are hair quality is a hundred out of ten their service <gasps> Ooh, gosh <laughs> did I not have to fight from my life to get this wig so my husband now is stressed it's towards my birthday he is stressing it was supposed to be a surprise because even though i have a birthday list i never know what i'm gonna get from the list or what i'm not gonna get from the list uh, so he starts stressing because it was one of the gifts that he was going to put with the gifts that he bought me and i was really excited for the wig thought i was gonna wear that wig on my birthday like <laughs> he had the whole thing planned and since he made the order he received an automated um, email to say that order has been received and that was like three three weeks prior and they say that delivery they, they communicate different delivery days I think a week so since then they didn't communicate okay okay now the order is being prepared the order is in dispatch and mind you this is a south african company so it should be quick if you guys have units ready made you should it should be you should adhere to your standard delivery days and we only started questioning after the delivery days had passed like 
um we haven't gotten any communication from you we tried to reach out via email nothing they didn't answer they switched off their comments this was in 2020 i don't know what's happening with them now because i never ordered with them again based on the service guys if you run a business and you you provide people with a bad service sometimes it does it doesn't matter how good your product is a bad service can like turn away a good customer forever i judging from the how i love this wig and how i love the quality i could have come back and bought more wigs but from that service for the fact that i had to go to my social media profiles fight them on um get my friends to share get uh, like the Nguenya's house profile my profile i was fighting them everywhere for them to actually end up assisting me and rushing the order to get to me if i didn't say anything i don't know when this order was ever gonna get delivered and so service and delivery zero and zero <laughs> the next vendor that i used for um getting a wig was tina shehe it's an aliexpress vendor as well and um i got a 22 inch curly lace so this was this is the picture of the hair I got. This is how it's looking right now, but don't be afraid of this. I'm, I'm about to give you a real review. And then I got a body wave uh, 22 inch also from Tinashe Hair at the same time. I went, I gave the wig to my cousin last year in March, but I will give you just my feedback and show you pictures of how the wig was when it arrived and it was still body wave and when I straightened it. So the wig was $162 at the time, I think it was around 2006, now $162 is almost 3000 The rand is suffering. I've been wearing it quite a lot. I didn't wear it a lot at the start because I was not figuring out how to keep the curls looking nice. Um, after you spray on water and conditioner, they look so mwah, beautiful, nice. But then throughout the day, the curls dry up and it looks something like this. But um, they didn't always look like this. They were tighter. Um, but as you wear it more and more and you wash it, the curls drop. I don't know how um, and and the curls dropped for me because I got this genius idea to straighten this wig and I thought I would make it bone straight <laughs> it didn't turn out bone straight luckily when I washed it the curls kind of returned so I'm going to put this then review the quality the service and the delivery you see as soon as you put conditioner on the hair it starts looking pretty and alive and new this actually takes a long time <laughs> but i just wanted to show you because kelly wigs are scary in a sense of when they dry up you feel like oh my god did i waste my money what but it's not the case really it's just how you prep it if the quality of the hair is good obviously of this hair was and I'll say is really good I feel considering the fact that I have straightened it I have dyed it black and it has maintained its curl um, I'm not gonna put everything that I always put on but I changed the game for me for this Kelly wig um, this uh, soft and free for natural hair it's coconut it's a curl tonic and um i think i got it from clicks and then i got anti um jackie's ice curl so once i put this combo child um this spray just gives shine as well i like that like you see it just makes the curls shine look healthy you know not because what I saw was just putting um, into the leave-in conditioner and water is the hair would dry up in the middle of the day. Now you'd be looking like crazy in public. I'd give the quality a 10 out of 10. Service also 10 out of 10, but delivery. I remember I ordered these wigs before going to Nice Now because I was just ordering them for Nice Now. 
I ended up having to go to Nisna without proper looking wigs which was very sad because wow my outfits needed these wigs so they were delayed with their delivery by two days but that two days affected everything because i was actually planning to get them for um holiday but they deliver within a span of two weeks to three weeks um just that there will be delays so if you want to order from your aliexpress anything outside of south africa always leave enough time uh, but quality wise even tangling it does tangle a bit at the back but high it doesn't turn into um, a scrub I would say the straight one I didn't like how much it had flyaways I didn't love that about it so quality for the straight one I would give it for the body wave one which I then straightened uh, but I would wear it as a body wave sometimes I'd give it an eight uh no a seven out of ten service is the same because i got these delivered at the same time i ordered them at once so it was pretty much the same service hey what guys please this is another um one of my favorite wigs this was gifted by a brand um curls curls i did a whole video on them yeah, and when I got these curls, guys, I was so in awe of how, like, the hair is so soft. I'll tell you a little story. So, um, they loved my content, guys. Yo, look at this. I even created different hairstyles, even though it was a fringe. They didn't expect that I would, I would actually create so many different hairstyles with it you know i was excited this was the first time i got a wig sent to me they gave me feedback they're happy then they're like oh they'd like me to choose another wig to review i'm like okay and the wig that i was choosing was quite similar to this one so i was just like okay cool i get it i love the quality of your hair and everything but um creating content um takes time and like this would actually be done at a charge they're like no they give me the whole COVID story no um we our we currently don't have the budget for it our business went through a lot of like kind of giving me an excuse of the fact that they didn't have um money after COVID so uh, basically i must do the work for free <laughs> again i'm like yeah the first time cool but you're not gonna keep on giving me a bunch of afro wigs and me creating the same content um user content for you that you are gonna be able to use to get customers because they're like okay we'll give you hundred dollars i was like you know what it's hundred dollars it's a free wig it's okay then yo did they not with the with the with the one way i i wanted to get paid um there was a lot of back and forth it took like it took like two months um of them like um if they felt like it they'll be like oh yeah no we are still like um organizing the wig next thing they were like no cu there are customs now and the customs are so expensive it basically um, short term of the story is that I never got the second week just because I asked for a payment so they were they didn't want to pay me for advertising their hair they wanted me to keep on advertising their hair for free and they would um, just benefit basically just benefit so with that service i would rate it uh zero out of ten i'd rate it a zero out of ten because i can't rate it based on the free wig they gave me at the start and but with the second wig when now they needed to be professional they lacked all of that and i remember there was a girl that was struggling to put this in her cart and she couldn't get any support and she kept on asking me and i was just like i don't know girl i just got this wig to advertise i don't know what's happening but from that i would say zero out of ten for service it is what it is those ones are very popular on the socials they this 
Kiri Potter says I want I didn't watch it as well because I it's actually oh actually it's clean this is after wearing it one day it will just stay like it will be like this at the top but the hair the more the day goes it turns to be like this so um i got this hair um straight but when you wash it it kind of has a curl this is not the natural curl that you're seeing kind of at the top i curled the hair myself um the wig was 1350 and i got the black wig that was like a teapot it's not like a lace frontal that's fully lace it's just a teapot so it has a bit of lace to make it you know for you to be able to kind of wear it in a certain way town shut up hey my baby my baby look at this nahana uba tung or ausia to do wiggy it's just yeah not come out it's a so yeah pot i got wins a yaki bulk one up one thousand three fifty four hega wiki how got down but i like three feet one thousand three fifty wabore on top go by the customizer because i don't know how to customize my wig and that customization fee is like 250 or 350 Shapo, they said they customized, they put the wigs inside the packs and gave them. Remember, I paid for customization. Where? Where is it? Where's, where's it? Where? Dololo customization. But I was like, I forgave that because the wig looked amazing at the start. It didn't take three wears. No. Not even three wears. And we were here. But you know what? Me, I'm a trooper. I was like, you know what? I will, every time I wash the hair, I'll straighten it, look beautiful. I even took it to Sobe, looking like this. They made it straight. So the type of fiber they use is kind of like, you can wash it, straighten it, make it look decent. But promise you, the same day, by the end of the day, be it you are at an event or where you are going to end up looking like this. 1 out of 10 um quality is 1 out of 10 um service when i went to the physical store in uh that was in Joburg. i know they they are doing like a whole thing with influencers now uh since they opened a new place i don't know where that place is but the service there was actually was nice you you stand in line you get you say which word you want you pay um, if you want customization, you have to wait, then they give it to you. What I didn't, the thing is, I didn't want them to like install and customize on my head. I just wanted them to customize the lace so that it looks like scalp, honey. None of that was done. I don't know why I didn't check, but it wasn't done. So for their, for their service, I'd give it like a 5 out of 10. Because the, there was nothing bad that happened at the store. Then delivery, I can't rate because I didn't have time to order online for them to deliver. So I just went to the physical store. Mm. Then I got my 30 inch. You know, I've, I've been wanting to get a 30 inch. So I got this on a, the Black Friday sale, Lux Beauty. Lux Beauty beauty because the way they write it on um instagram is like this it's a it's a it's an instagram boutique and they were running a black friday special um and i got the 30 inch for i'll just put the prices on the screen because i haven't mentioned prices for everything um this i also got recently um treated as so big but but in terms of how it looks amazing quality amazing i i've just had it since december and because it's such a long wig i don't wear it a lot of times so i've worn it less than 10 times um and for the times that i've worn it, it it's it's been good um i have washed it three times or two times two times or three times three times yeah this would have been the third time washing it and after washing it blow drying it straightening it it looks beautiful um 
so for the quality right now I haven't worn it for a long time but I would give them like a 9 out of 10 for what I've experienced so far then service guess on <laughs> I what's up gay buddy what's up Hey, I got this contact from your Instagram page. I want to purchase the 30 inch wig now. Please, um, I want to to your Lina's horses. I want to purchase the 30 inch wig now. Please, Adva please. Oh, I didn't put punctuation. I need to do better. Please advise what the process of payment is and how soon I can collect because I saw there was an option to collect. Thank you for interest. Okay, that was an automated message. Please note that pickup appointments are confirmed by 50% deposit a day before collecting. Appointment times are between 11 and then cut payments only upon collection. Okay. Then I sent them the screenshot of the Black Friday sale and I was like, I want the 30 inch, which was 2,600 on the Black Friday sale. I think usually it's over 3,000. Um, then they gave me, um, I should send my name, contact address and I should pay. And I gave them all of that. Um, I gave them my postal. Um, I was like, I want to do collections. It seems quicker than delivery. Um, she says you may collect on Wednesday or Thursday and this was on what was this this was on Tuesday she said you may collect he or she said you may collect on Wednesday or Thursday I'll check the available slots but the Korea um, and then she I get it now I had said it seems quicker to collect and then she, they answer the part here, yeah, it seems quicker to collect. And they say, but the courier guy was going to deliver tomorrow. And then I was like, oh, okay, I don't mind the courier guy. They're like, you're in Gauteng. I'm like, yes, full address. This complex is Terelizia. So are they not saying that, oh, don't collect. Courier guy will deliver tomorrow. That's right. But the courier guy was gonna deliver tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, there's no need for me to collect because the courier guy is gonna deliver tomorrow. Today's Tuesday, you are sending me you are sending me this message tomorrow. It's supposed to get delivered. No. Afternoon, so this is Wednesday later on. I'm like, afternoon, may you please send me a tracking number? Hi, just sent me hi tracking number will be sent um the parcel when the parcel is out. Our lead time is three to five working days. Balance me real quick. Say the courier guy is gonna deliver tomorrow. I shouldn't collect. Hmm? Now, when I follow up the next day for a uh, way for a tracking number, you are telling me about lead time of three. And then I'm like, but yesterday this is what you said. Where I I was answering to when they said courier guy is gonna deliver tomorrow. And then they're like, when did you pay for the order, ma'am? Ma'am, secondly, like ma'am, I'm like yesterday. Was this not yesterday? So am I missing something? I'm not sure if there's something I'm missing. Um, the, there's no need, and then I go on to say, there's no need for you to be rude. I'm inquiring based on the thread of our communication here. After I said pickup seems quicker, you said, but the courier guy was going to deliver tomorrow. You said this yesterday. This is the reason I'm inquiring. I'll wait for you to send the tracking number then. Then I left it there. So they repeated what they said. Guys, demo wrong, get now wrong, akrimon. Yeah, if I, am I the one who's wrong in acrimony? No, so yeah, for that, their service is a really a one out of ten. I would not recommend them. I will keep on trying different hair vendors until I find quality 10, service 10, and delivery 10. So far, la 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 la, last but not least. Um, what do you call this? Dragon City la la Dragon City loving. Um so I was looking for a hair that looks like this 
to achieve this hairstyle for my wedding and I asked on TikTok, I asked on Instagram or TikTok, I don't remember and a lot of people suggested store D24, D34, I'll put it here on uh, in Dragon City so specifically D34 when you go to Dragon City because I've bought hair before I was buying it for my sister for a birthday present it was curly hair um I bought it from one of the stores but I didn't take note of the number but I know it was probably in the B building they have A B C D so I went to store D34 to buy the wig the store was full and the store was full based on it having gone viral on um, Instagram with a couple of people saying their hair is so amazing. So I'm standing around there at the store looking lost and this lady um, comes to me and she's like, oh, are you here to buy hair? Which hair do you want? And then she's like, oh, okay, cool. And then she just drags me to another store and um, I showed her the hair I want. She showed me the bundles and said she would make them into a wig for me. The bundles look good. Everything. I think everything ended up costing two thousand six hundred. Um, this is a twenty-four inch wig, and um, I got the bundle straight. And I asked her, "Can I curl this hair?" Yes. But on the actual wedding day, yo, the hair looked like a mat. It, it has a lot of flyaways and I'm guessing it's because it's processed in terms of like the fact that it's, um, it's bleached and it has very blonde highlights but it did not hold a curl by like I by the time I was walking down Bandla there was no curl and <laughs> it was all matted up looking weird holding a curl um, So I would rate the quality of 5 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's not amazing either um, service I was there like I don't I think at um, Dragon City you shouldn't expect some exceptional service everything is quick they're trying to you know like the woman got me poached me um, I paid made the wig real fast fitted it she was on to the next person so the service is whatever like it's whatever it's Dragon City they they don't sell service they sell convenience hey cheap um, I didn't even feel like it was that cheap like for 24 inches this, this is a normal price most of the other weeks that I've gotten so I don't feel like it's also more affordable I feel like it's just an easy alternative because there's hair everywhere they have so many hair stores this thing now it's only D43 I don't know it's just like someone said D43 and everybody flocked there but there's so many different stores from all the floors and from all the different buildings uh, anyway i hope this video was helpful i hope you enjoyed the video please for don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye